Hey everybody, welcome back to the series on the progress bar, taking it from regular progress bar to an animated progress bar in native script. In the first video, we took TJ's approach and uh, we changed it up just a little bit. In this video, we're gonna take Peter Staya's approach and simplify the layout a little bit. And in the next video, we'll get to animations. All right, let's go. Okay, we're gonna continue right where we left off in the last video. If you didn't watch the last video of how I created this progress bar right here, then go ahead and take a look at that. That's video one in the series based on the blog post by TJ Van Toll. In this video, we're gonna continue by making a simpler version of this layout here. And then we're gonna continue with animating the progress bar by using straight JavaScript animation and then RxJS animation. All right. I'm gonna leave this one alone so you can take a look at the code and I'm gonna create a new progress to simpler component here. I'm gonna copy all of the original one and let's go to the simpler one. Oh, I forgot to create the actual component. Progress simpler component .ts. And I'm gonna paste this in here. Let's rename the component and the selector. We don't really need the selector because we're not selecting anything. This is the bootstrap component. Okay, so progress simpler component. Let's get it into our module. So under declarations, we have the progress original component. And now we're gonna have the progress simpler component here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and import that. And let's add it to our bootstrap list. But instead of bootstrapping our original component, I'm gonna just bootstrap the simpler component now. And I'm gonna save all the files. You know, I love prettier, but sometimes it doesn't do what I want it to do. Okay, here's our simpler component. Now, why is this component simpler? It looks exactly the same. Well, just a second, we copied it. We didn't do any changes yet. So this grid layout at the top has this columns attribute that we're binding. And let's just get rid of that because this whole combination is a little bit hard to follow sometimes. So I'm gonna get rid of this set progress bar width function. And instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and bind the width of this internal stack layout directly to a percent value. So style dot width, you can bind individual style properties just like this with angular syntax. All right, let me give it more space here. And we can bind this to percent, which is gonna be a property on my class here. And I'm gonna concatenate that with the percentage string. So we don't need this columns here. What we need is just a public property called percent I'm gonna initialize that to zero. And this is gonna be a lot simpler. So we don't need this percent in ng on init. We're still gonna have our interval so we can get the simulated updates. We don't need to call set progress bar width. So I'm gonna delete that. All we need to do is just say this dot percent and we're gonna call the get new percent value utility function that we created in the last video. Here, just like before, we're gonna break out of the loop. If percent is more or equal to 100, and you'd think that was it, but there's one more thing we need to do. If we take a look at this now, you'll see that the progress bar is actually expanding from the middle, and we don't want that. So let's go back to this app.css file, and we're gonna use horizontal align left on the progress bar value class. Let's save that, and let's take a look. Okay, there we go, there's our progress bar, and it's jumping from one value to the next randomly until we get to 100%. So. That's really nice. It's a much simpler approach. We got rid of that extra function that uh, set the column widths. The only thing that's missing now is actually animating this progress bar, which is gonna look a lot nicer. We'll do that in the next video in the series. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel right here to get more tutorial videos on NativeScript. And you can follow me on Twitter where I'll be microblogging about NativeScript, Angular, and JavaScript topics. See you in the next video.